Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to Revok. Today we are diving into something super exciting. We are going to install Kali Linux on your Mac using UTM. Whether you are into cyber security or ethical hacking, I think this tutorial will be very much useful for you guys. So now let's proceed with the installation of the UTM. For that first you have to head over to your terminal and make sure that homebrew is installed in your system. Then go to your terminal and type brev install hyphen hyphen cask utm. I'll uh, leave you the command uh, in the description below. And uh, this will uh, ensure that you will uh, install the utm package in your uh, uh, system. Now the next step would be uh, installing the Kali ISO. For this you have to head over to the Kali Linux website and uh, there you have to choose your uh, version of the chip that is in your Mac either the older Intel version or the latest M1 uh, Max. So uh, there will be an option you have to choose that. After this uh, the next step would be to open your UTM uh, the thing what we have just installed there you have to choose virtualize. Uh, then you have to choose Linux, then you have to uh, uh, choose your uh, the ISO image what you have downloaded just now right. Uh, so it will be in the download folder and you can choose that. And uh, after that it will ask you to allocate the amount of RAM that you want to give uh, to the system. So uh, it's uh, so by default it will be 4 GB but I prefer you go ahead till up to 6 gigabytes depending on your laptop because i'm using a 16 gb version so i can give up to 6 so if you are using an 8 gb version or something then you can go with 4 and uh, the number of cores would be around 6 and uh, next uh, the amount of storage you have to give I, uh, it's advisable to give a little bit extra so i'll go with 40 uh, then you have to choose the shared path that can be uh, accessed by both your VM and your machine. So generally the desktop would be the ideal choice so I am going with the, that. Uh, the next step would be you have to name what you want to give. I am giving Kali right now and let's proceed. So we have to make some changes here. Uh, in the display we have to go to the settings then go to edit then the display section then uh, ch choose what I'm choosing because uh, this has the least amount of bugs and you have to uh, choose a new serial one here because uh, the default screen won't be able to go through the installation process and now you can start your installation process now uh, click on install I think now you can just follow the process. Uh,
so this is where you have to be careful uh, the by default only the first two options will be be selected so you have to select your genome and kde plasma for selecting you have to use spacebar to select and you can press the tab to uh, press the tab button then the uh, the enter button to continue After the installation process, make sure you are clearing the uh, default ISO image from the uh, screen so that it doesn't go through the boot loop. After you have removed this, it will boot into the Kali Linux. So uh, it will take some time on the first boot, and uh, you can uh, enter your uh, uh, the password that you have given uh, before, uh, and you, now you can boot into your system. So this is how you install Kali on your Mac system using the UTM. So thank you everyone. See you guys in the next video.